What if the state covers your cost of living? Would you still go to work, pursue further education, or just kick back and relax? It's an intriguing concept known as Universal Basic Income, or UBI. This idea is gaining momentum in the tech and AI-driven society we live in, and today we'll dive deep into its potential impact and the heated arguments surrounding it. Now, let's address a burning question. If everyone receives free money, won't they just spend it recklessly on booze and stop working? It turns out, studies from the World Bank have debunked this stereotype. Poor individuals don't squander their handouts on vices like alcohol and tobacco. In fact, research shows that the consumption of drugs and alcohol tends to be higher among the wealthier segments of society. But what about laziness? UBI trials conducted back in the 1970s in Canada shed light on this matter. Only a minuscule 1% of recipients stopped working, primarily to focus on caring for their children. And on average, people reduced their working hours by less than 10%. The extra time was often utilized for personal development, such as returning to school or actively seeking better job opportunities. Laziness seems to be far from the reality of UBI recipients. There was also an 8.5% decline in hospitalizations, primarily because there were fewer alcohol-related accidents and hospitalizations due to mental health issues and a reduction in visits to family physicians. So why hasn't our current welfare state solved poverty if UBI holds such promise? The answer lies in the restrictions and conditions that come with welfare programs. These requirements often trap individuals in a cycle of dependency, offering little personal freedom and discouraging active efforts to improve their situation. It's time-consuming and counterproductive, forcing people into any job available, regardless of fit or pay. The result? A ceiling that keeps them trapped in poverty, perpetuating passive behavior. The fear of AI replacing jobs has been around for decades, but with the rapid advancement of technologies like ChatGPT, this fear has become all too real. Companies like Goldman Sachs are already partnering with AI-driven firms to automate tasks and reduce costs. This automation trend will leave fewer jobs in the market. Recent studies suggest that as much as two-thirds of American occupations are now exposed to AI-driven automation. That's a staggering 300 million jobs worldwide that could vanish within the next decade. The impact on our labor market and the future of work cannot be ignored. Now, Imagine a world transformed by AI, not in a thousand years, but in just a few decades. The potential is immense. AI has the ability to perform tasks that were previously unthinkable. It can handle clerical, administrative, and even creative work. If job obsolescence happens swiftly, we face the looming threat of mass unemployment and wage stagnation. Inequality would reach unprecedented levels, with workers becoming poorer while shareholders reap huge dividends. We must find a way to mitigate these challenges and create a more equitable future. With UBI, individuals have the freedom to pursue their dreams, take risks, and explore new opportunities without the fear of financial ruin. It acts as a safety net, empowering people to adapt and thrive in a changing job market. By redistributing wealth and ensuring a fairer distribution of resources, UBI can bridge the gap between the rich and the poor, creating a more inclusive and just society. But UBI is not just about financial security. It represents a shift in our mindset and values. In a world where human labor is less in demand, we have the opportunity to redefine work and prioritize the well-being of every individual. Imagine a society where we can all work less, enjoy life more, and pursue our passions. Now let's address the question in the room. How do we fund UBI? It's a complex question with no simple answer. Different countries will adopt different approaches, such as leveraging sovereign wealth funds or implementing wealth taxes. Political considerations also come into play as concerns about how UBI funds might be used arise. However, research has debunked the myth that cash transfers lead to irresponsible spending habits. Implementing UBI in the face of the AI revolution is undoubtedly a challenging task. 
Yet, it promises to be one of the most effective ways to mitigate the damage caused by massive job cuts. As AI advances at an unprecedented pace, workers need time to adapt, and UBI provides them with the space to do so. It ensures that the economy remains stable, safeguarding the livelihoods of millions. Throughout history, we've witnessed moments when governments decided to provide their citizens with a substantial amount of cash. These actions were often taken during economic crises or emergencies, aiming to stimulate spending and boost the economy. When governments inject massive amounts of money into the economy without proper precautions, it can lead to a surge in demand for goods and services. This sudden increase in demand, coupled with limited supply, can result in prices skyrocketing and inflation taking hold. Critics worry that UBI will cause prices to skyrocket, nullifying its benefits. However, let's not jump to conclusions just yet. There are some key distinctions between government cash injections and UBI that we need to consider. UBI doesn't create money out of thin air. It's a redistribution of existing funds, shifting the balance rather than inflating the economy. So, fears of rampant inflation can be put to rest. UBI is not a one-time cash injection. It's an ongoing system that ensures a basic level of financial security for individuals. Unlike a sudden money, UBI provides a consistent income stream to cover essential needs, creating stability in people's lives. Furthermore, UBI has the potential to stimulate economic growth, drive innovation, and expand job opportunities, leading to increased productivity and a healthier economy. OpenAI's massive UBI experiment has gained attention not only from researchers and residents, but also from Silicon Valley's tech leaders. Some believe that the rapid advancements in artificial intelligence could generate enough wealth to fund UBI programs. However, not everyone shares the same optimism. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman predicts that within a decade, AI could generate sufficient wealth to provide every adult in the United States with $13,500 annually. OpenAI's UBI experiment aims to understand the effects of AI on employment, income distribution, and social dynamics. By conducting this groundbreaking research, OpenAI seeks to inform policymakers and society about the potential benefits and drawbacks of UBI in the age of AI. The experiment not only provides valuable insights into the relationship between AI and UBI, but also triggers a broader conversation among experts and the public. Silicon Valley's leaders may envision a future where AI-generated wealth supports UBI, but experts caution that the path forward requires careful consideration of potential risks and unintended consequences. Altman's vision, outlined in his thought-provoking peace blog titled Moore's Law for Everything, suggests a future where AI plays a central role in funding free cash handouts. Despite these bold claims, critics voice concerns about the potential consequences of Altman's views. They worry that such assertions may mislead the public about the actual trajectory and limitations of AI technology. As OpenAI pioneers the massive UBI experiment and Silicon Valley leaders speculate about the role of AI in funding UBI, the world watches with anticipation. Sam Altman shares his insights on universal basic income, UBI, and its significance in the context of AI. I think it is a component of something we should pursue. It is not a full solution. I think people work for lots of reasons besides money. And I think we are going to find incredible new jobs and society as a whole and people's individuals are going to get much, much richer. But as a cushion through a dramatic transition. Sam Altman highlights his involvement in WorldCoin, a project dedicated to developing technological solutions for poverty alleviation. He also mentions funding a significant study on UBI, which will provide valuable insights. As artificial intelligence and automation reshape industries and redefine job roles, concerns about job displacement and income inequality have become more pronounced. UBI offers a potential solution to mitigate these challenges. With AI taking over routine and repetitive tasks, many fear job losses and a widening wealth gap. 
UBI can ensure that the benefits of technological advancements are shared by all, providing a stable income floor for individuals whose jobs are disrupted by automation. Additionally, UBI can foster a sense of dignity and empowerment. It recognizes the value of every individual and provides them with the means to live a fulfilling life, pursuing their interests, education, and personal growth, even in a rapidly changing AI-driven world. UBI represents a bold step towards creating a more equitable society, ensuring that every individual has a minimum level of economic security. The goal should be to eliminate poverty if we have the means to do so. Incorporating UBI as part of a comprehensive solution is a great step forward. While UBI is not a one-size-fits-all solution and its implementation requires careful consideration, it offers a glimmer of hope amidst the uncertainties of our rapidly changing world. In conclusion, universal basic income holds immense potential to alleviate poverty and enhance societal well-being. But before we fully embrace it, further research and large-scale trials are crucial. We need to carefully consider the type of UBI we want and what trade-offs we're willing to make. It's a complex topic with no easy answers.